the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. I can't believe you remake Phil Collins and then get mad when I sing the actual version. That version actually goes harder than any other version that'll ever be released, Ladybug. Coldest white boy to ever do it. Ever do it. He said, I remember. <laughs> that was a little Mikeish, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. We are back. We have a special guest in the building, so I need everybody on their best behavior. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> I need everybody to act up before you get slapped up. No, <laughs> we got Melissa Brev in the building. Hey, how you guys doing? What's poppin'? Nothing much, for real. I'm so excited that you're here. You done blinded me. I got my glasses on, though, so it's reflecting. <laughs> It's probably blinding somebody else, but we're so excited to have you here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I just want you to explain to everybody who you are and what you do. Um, well, I go by Melissa Renee. Yeah. I am the owner of Devana Love Boutique in Las Vegas. Uh, I am an entrepreneur. I am a mother. I'm a lot of things. You know yes. what I'm saying? A lot of things. So a lot you own of things. the boutique. Huh? Yes, what you sell in your boutique. boutique? Women's clothes, shoes, accessories. Okay, so I can go in there and give me some red bottoms. She didn't say it was plus well, no, size. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have no red bottoms in there. <laughs> she didn't say it was plus size. <laughs> That's First okay. I, I sell to everybody. I exactly. cater to everybody. What? You I don't. You got women, so women look, you come got in cast. all walks. Exactly. She got a cap. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a size that when somebody walking in is like, baby girl, I just don't have. I mean, sometimes I size. don't. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Some some things I don't have. I'm not I'm not just a plus size store, you know what right. I'm saying? But I try to cater to everybody because, just like I said. Just tell them you got some bracelets or something in the front. They well, everybody I can suck up. in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can suck in and put that uh, sundress on and look good. Hey. You better not put no <laughs> sundress on. <laughs> So how did you get into owning something like a fashion boutique? Because you see it so much now. Uh -huh. And now it's just like... Yeah, well, that's the thing. So I opened my boutique five years ago. Okay. So, you know, I've had it for about five years. And I feel like when I did it, uh -huh. it wasn't, you know, as like... There were a couple of people who, you know, had boutiques and stuff like that. But right. then now it's like the fashion overs. The every, you know, everybody's right. doing it. So, right. like, you have, to, you have to step your game up, like... 50 times more, right. you know what I'm saying, to be able to, you know, keep up with, you know, what everybody's doing. But at the same time, too, though, you know, I'm fine. I'm, you know, I'm in my lane. I'm doing that. Right. And not only that, I'm working on my own line right now. So, okay. yeah, I want to drop my own line because right now I have vendors that I deal with and stuff like that. Okay. So I want to manufacture my own stuff and come out with my own line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you need a plus size model girl, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is your business also online, too? It seems like Fashion Nova and everybody else is taking over the online market. Are you yeah, also doing that? That's, it's it's pretty much online right now. I have a showroom. Mm -hmm. I had a storefront for four years. And okay. then it was like, okay, so do I want to do another five-year lease? Right. Or do I just go online? So I decided right. to just, like, get a showroom and then go online. And that's, you know, that's I think is working best for me right okay, now. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, and it's okay. located in Vegas. In Las Vegas, yes. In Las Vegas. Uh -huh. I'm going to Vegas in December, so I'm going to pull up. Yeah, let me know. I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> Y'all going to see me in my skirt. <laughs> Man, don't be hating. I'm not. They be hating all. on me because I be looking hating. good. I'm <laughs> nice and thick, okay? <laughs> Bro, you had a question. Oh, no, I was going to ask you. So in the storefront or you said a showroom, so you go in there and you order in store? Yeah, you can, like, when you come in, you know what I'm saying? I have a room that has, like, all the stuff that I have okay. available that, you know, you can buy online that you can get there as well. That's dope. So, you know, you can try stuff on. You can look at it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Plus, okay. you might even see me if I'm in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like going shopping where I see famous people. I'm like, ah, she got to get my picture. <laughs> I got put out of one store. I'm not going to say the store, but I got put out because I, I didn't want to buy nothing. I was just there to see who I could see. And, uh, yeah. What? I ain't never heard you got to buy something when you go yeah, to the store. Yeah, yeah. And they was trying to force it on me. They was like, you know, here, take this dress. I was like, girl, I only wear dresses. Oh, wow. But, yeah. <laughs> so, is there, like, is there a specific, like, price range that your, that your boutique, like, goes between? Is it, is it like something that everybody can can afford or is it more like high end yeah no definitely something that everybody can afford you know i i was a single mother at one point so i know how that is like when you kind of like want to dress fly or whatever and you don't really have the means to get what you want to get you right. know what i'm saying so i try to make it affordable for you know just any hard-working woman that you know what i'm saying just wants to come in and look cute right yeah so i would say nothing in my store is over a hundred dollars Okay. Mm, yeah. That's good. And that's it's probably a little bit less than that, but I'm just saying nothing. You won't find anything over 100. That's okay. Dope. Yeah. I that's like so it. What made you open up in Las Vegas? Uh, well, that's because where I live. I live in there. So oh, I've been, oh, Las Vegas? Yeah. No, not originally. I'm originally from St. Louis, but I've oh, been okay. in Vegas since 93. Okay. So it's like, you know, it just made more sense for me to open my store there. Okay. Yep. So you're not from Houston? 
No, I'm not from Houston. Oh. I don't know where I was. I thought you were from Houston. No. <laughs> Somebody else asked me that yesterday. They asked me if I lived here. I was like, no, I don't live here. <laughs> oh, okay. So you just here? Are you here? Yeah, for well, I came because my daughter is, um, she was supposed to be going to the James Harden brunch that oh, they okay. had yesterday. Yeah, she okay. was she's feeling a little under the weather, so she didn't end up going. Oh, okay. So we came here last year for James Harden weekend, too. Okay. And then we came this, this weekend, and, you know. We've been enjoying it. We've been having a good old time. Y'all been turning up <laughs> yeah. in the city in Houston. Yeah. Y'all had some seafood yet? Uh, I did. I ate at, uh, what was the name of that place? Uh, seaside? Like seaside. seaside Hookah Lounge or something? We were just talking about just that. Went to <laughs> something, the Yaya, the, it was like a Yaya something. It was called the pasta. It was some type of pasta, seafood pasta. It was bomb. It was yeah. really good. No, the yeah. food at Seaside is really good. Yeah, we just it was left. good. I'm, I'm allergic, allergic, so I ain't never going. Oh, oh damn. My God. <laughs> You're like deathly allergic or yeah. just a little itchy throat? No, no, no. A little itchy throat? Like some vinegar is clearing up? Yeah. No, I had that in my purse. Don't worry. Like it's going to close up and I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So what are some things about the entertainment industry that kind of makes it like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, just makes it tough for you to just continue on um, in this. It, I mean, to me, like, I just feel like just being attached to who I'm attached to, mm -hmm. um, you learn a lot about what's going on. Right. And I just feel like if you fall into the madness, right. then you'll become a part of it, you right. know, and my thing is this, like, I, I just, like, I have very, very thick skin, I'm confident in who I am, mm -hmm. so there's nothing that anybody that can say that will really, like, eat me alive, right. you know what I'm saying, right. like, of course, sometimes people say things, and it kind of gets to you, but at the same time, too, though, you gotta, you just gotta look at people's situation, you exactly. know, like, you're not doing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, and right. sometimes people get intimidated by that, and, you know, jealousy you know all yes. that things in so you know it's just like what my daughter i tell her you know you can't be worried about what everybody is saying you right. know people gonna talk there's nothing you can do right. you could be the most perfect person in the world and somebody gonna find something wrong with you oh yeah, you know what sure. i'm saying so you got to just know who you are and just keep it moving exactly yeah so exactly. do you read your ig comments or like even stay in the in it and i always wondered with the people that get a lot of ig mm -hmm. um comments do they actually read them and actually go through them i, you I do TV? sometimes but that's when you sometimes you be like, okay, I gotta stop. Because then you see some stuff. Yeah, you see some stuff. And you just like it's so crazy because you know you got all these people that feel like they know you because right. they follow you mm -hmm. right. and they really don't know you. You right. know what I'm saying? Or those who just want to talk negatively on you. Right. You know, and it's like, damn, you don't like you don't even know me. Like if you knew me, you'd be like. She's hella cool. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. She's like super down to earth, whatever. But at the same time, I'm not worried about that because I have my friends. I have my family. I got right. the people that I really rock with that I'm I, I'm more concerned how they look at me than anybody else in this world. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. do you have any snapback moments where you read them comments you're like, I can't let them make it today? Oh, yeah. I've, I've done it. I've, I've been posted on the shade room yeah. and other places like that before. Like, Did like, you like, see what she said? Look, I'm like, dang. I, I, and then I, you sit back and you're like, why did I go there? Because yeah. then once you do it, it's like a chain reaction. You right. know what oh, I'm yeah, because they, they got you to respond. That's it, the, that'd be their biggest thing. But it's like, thing. I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I, I feel like when I get to that point, I'm going to have a lot of shade room moments because I can read, like, comment one and just, like, let it go. Mm -hmm. Comment two. But by comment three or four, <laughs> right. somebody so mama about to get it. It's coming out. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy is that you don't, like, I don't really trip off of certain things that are said about me. But mm -hmm. when you start digging, you start talking about my kids yeah. and stuff like that, that's when you get, like, you know what? <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not even going to take it there. So, but you know what? Other than that like for real I, I don't even really get into it and now they have a feature where you can turn your comments off right. you know, like if you don't want people talking about you just, just cut turn them off. them off yeah turn them off or don't really pay attention to them so. oh yeah I'm definitely gonna keep them off Julie, and, but, no, and, you, them and off. you can you can turn them off or you could just have it to where your friends can comment like people you follow no, oh, yeah, they, like they got some nice features going on there. Yeah. What? Come on, Instagram. <laughs> now, I know you've seen this chicken sandwich beef, and I don't know if you into chicken sandwiches. You may be vegan. Uh, she just said she had yaya pasta, so I don't think she's vegan. I'm not vegan, but I don't eat chicken. I don't eat beef. I don't eat turkey. Pescatarian. Pescatarian. Yeah, Pescatarian. So I would say along the lines of pescatarian, yeah. Okay, mm. yeah. so you didn't try the chicken that had no. everybody going crazy. Well, I, I'll be <laughs> honest with you. I told people I think it's something in it that... Four years later, they're going to be like, remember them chicken sandwiches y'all was eating? That's what they <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they caused the cancer or some old crazy stuff. It's like going to be a commercial. Yeah. If I you mean, I just, they out here acting real ignorant over them really? sandwiches. They I'm like, what? It crack. cannot be that good. It Crack. cannot Crack be that good. <laughs> <laughs> the producer 
Bills just said, ah. <laughs> you had one? Oh, yeah, no, they, they're pretty good. Okay, what's, what's so great about it? Is it seasoned great? Yeah, like, yeah. Is it okay. And it's juicy. Is it juicy? It's yeah, really juicy. juicy. And the, the bread. bread. Oh, oh my God. So it must be great. <laughs> I think the pickles is even different. Like, it's, it's a better sandwich. It's a better sandwich. Wow. Just. I just didn't expect that type of bread from Popeye's because they biscuits are dry. Dry. They're dry. You got to put a whole bunch of honey Somebody in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, if they're using, like, breast or thigh, because they breast be dry. But this chicken the sandwich <laughs> don't be dry at all. <laughs> no, that's that special juice they inject in there. Oh, yeah. something, <laughs> oh, something. It's whatever that crack is. Yeah. Yeah. Make, 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 make chicken do something a little different than we, than we used to. <laughs> all right, so how has success changed your relationship with friends and family? Do people treat you different, act different with you? Do um, they ask you for money? <laughs> well, I mean, of course you're going to get that, but at the same time, too, though, um, it hasn't changed any of my relationships. Uh, anybody that I know, mm-hmm. they're just like, you're just the same person across the board. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I believe in putting, you know, your friends and those people in your family, you put those on around you. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So, if anything, you know, I have a, a podcast that I'm working on that I'm doing right now, and I have two of my friends you know, involved in a podcast That's with dope. me because okay. I'm like, why well, get two other people that I don't know right. that right. we don't know how we gonna vibe together and right. bring them on the show instead of just bringing my friends, friends. who I know that I vibe with. That so yeah, I've, I've had no issues with that. That's so amazing. how do you know when to say yes or no to a money situation? Because my mine is always no. I just I'm not giving nobody my money. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, some people are nicer than me. So how do you? Um, you know, know when to say yes to certain situations. Well, I say the best way for anybody, this is going to be anybody across the board. Anytime you give out money, you got to look at it this way. If a person asks you, can I borrow $300? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, can I borrow $300? I'm That's just what I'm saying. Asking. Well, what I'm saying is not. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is if that person asks you for $300, you have to look at it this way. I might not get this money back. Mm-hmm. So, can I afford to give this person $300? Right. Yes or no? That's your answer right there. If you have that 300 to possibly not get back, then if it's a yes for you, it's a yes. If you, because you got to look at it, like they may not pay you back. Right. right. So will you be okay with losing three hundred? So in my mind, if they, if I think they're not gonna pay me back, then I'm just not gonna borrow. I'm just not gonna let them have it. Right. You are gonna say no? All you are gonna time. say no? I can't do it. Or All maybe I can give you, I can give you fifty. Three <laughs> hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got the three. I got ten dollars. Exactly. Though. So whatever you gonna, whatever you gonna loan out, you gonna, you have to keep in your mind that you might not get it back. So is, right. is it okay if I lose this three hundred? Will I be okay? Is this your last three hundred? Right. Mm-hmm. If it's your last three hundred, I wouldn't be giving it. Yeah. So I do have a question, and it's totally off topic. But do you love ladybugs? Because I love ladybugs. <laughs> Actual ladybugs? <laughs> yes, no, actual I don't like ladybugs. no bugs. You don't like no bugs? No. <laughs> oh. No, it's just part of the challenge. <laughs> so we call our producer Ladybug, and I lost a, uh, oh, I lost oh. a social media challenge where I got to say that I love ladybugs, so I had to throw it in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And how, how old are your children? Because you say your daughter's down here. Yeah, so my daughter, Yaya, which a lot of people know her by money, Yaya. Yaya is um, 19, mm-hmm. and I have a 23-year-old son. Okay. You okay. do not. Yeah. You do not. I don't <laughs> think that no way possible. There's son. no way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know everybody be like, is that your, is that your boyfriend? No, that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> and they also in the industry, too? No. Well, I mean, Ayana, you know, you know, you guys know her yeah, dad is Floyd yeah. Mayweather. So, yeah. So, Ayana is, in, you know, doing her music and stuff, working on that right now so okay. yeah so she's That's like dope. more so my son my son's more laid back and just chilling you know he like doing his little i make my money over here and he's just my, my son's more laid back yeah, yeah. not Try really into the yeah he, there you go That's yeah. dope. I, I feel you. that let's go into a quick quick mix with dj ladybug over there and his catholic girls shirt <laughs> i really like it ladybug you look really nice and when we come back I think it's fashion no for men. (laughs) (laughs) Fashion no (laughs) men. It's catch with the radio show. (laughs) And we're back. It's catch 22 radio show. I feel like I have to talk like that under this beat. I don't know why. But we're back. We have Miss Melissa Renee in the building with us. And we're kicking it. And she's eating chewy mints. They good Extra. too. They good? I had to ask her yeah, for Brian one. Yeah, Brian asking already. <laughs> Boom. Because <laughs> she, she, she had a lot. I'm going to tell you why, because she had a lot of them and she said, <laughs> <laughs> if I have a lot of them and, and I ain't want to borrow, I can have one. So. <laughs> she knows she's not going to get it back. I can spare some extra. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did just uh, let us know that you have a podcast that you're about to come out with. Um, and you also own a fashion boutique. Now, 
I don't know how we're going to play into this, but I'm going to pitch you something. And I think you're going to really like it, okay? So I have a group. Mm-hmm. The name of my group is Thick and Nasty. Okay? Thick and Nasty? Thick and Nasty. Okay. Okay. It's the best group in the world. We are. Me and Drew okay. are Thick and Nasty. That's our manager over there featuring, <laughs> featuring Brian. Brian. Yeah. <laughs> so, Drewski, I need you to <laughs> tell her what we can do for Okay, so you got your boutique. Uh-huh. And you know we was talking about plus-size models. Um... <laughs> So I'm a I'm a background model. I don't really like walking down the runway or nothing. But I can stand in your store like this <laughs> for a very long time. I can probably do it for a good thirty <laughs> minutes. I mean, switch the pose. Um, also, we background podcasters, so like while you talking about your topic, we're gonna be in the back having a whole another conversation. But it's gonna flow together like like Florida. You think that'll work? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a whole lot gonna be going on. <laughs> yeah, but this, that's what I'm saying. Like they gonna be like, oh, she talking about you know entrepreneurship, but he back there cooking eggs. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna work. They gonna be like this video got a lot of elements that's going on. It works. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to get into the podcast game? Um, just because I feel like you know I engage a lot with um a lot of like my followers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, you know, you should have your own show. You should do this. And not only that, I get a lot of people, believe it or not, who ask me for advice. Mm-hmm. And I always revert back to this one story of this follower that I have. She hit me and she said, you know, she was pregnant and she didn't know what she should do. If she should keep her baby, you know, all this other stuff. And I told her, I was like, you should. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, there's plenty of single mothers out here. I kind of asked her where she was at in life. She told me, and I'm like, you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And make a long story short, uh, she used to keep in contact with me, like, okay, I'm I'm such and such, uh, you know, I'm so far along right now, you know, and um, she ended up having a baby, and she named her daughter after my daughter, Ayana. Oh, okay. So her daughter's name is Ayana Sky. But, um, so I felt like, you know, that makes me feel good to know that, you know, people actually reach out to me and they ask me for advice and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I like to talk. Why not? Yeah. So right. I was like, you know, I'm going to come up. I'm going to have my own podcast. So we actually, I've already done it. And then, you know, I'm a real visual person. So I like to people be able to see yeah. what's going on with, right. us, you know, the body language and stuff like that. So I have it on my YouTube channel as well. Okay. So you can come on there and you can watch the actual podcast on the uh, YouTube and you can listen to it on air. Okay. Either or. But yeah, I just really got into it just because, like I said, I like to talk and have a good time. So, so are like, you giving more like advice on the podcast or are you just touching like anything that pretty anything much we up? just pretty much come in we have like basically the topics of the day you know like anybody else would do um if we have like a celeb on the show or whatever we play a game it's called truth or shot and we just basically we came up with this game and we're like we got this wheel and if you come on the show you got to spin the wheel there's questions on there if you land on shot you got to take a shot because i got a bar so <laughs> oh, that's dope. you got to do that's all that. Yeah. So we, we've Come made it like show. so much fun. Like I, like I said, just being connected to, to someone who's like always, you know, people want to ask questions. People want to pry in your business and all right. that. I say anybody that I have come on my show, I don't want it to be about that. I don't right. want it to be about the drama side. Like let's right. have a good time. Let's right. chop it up because you never really get to know the real side of people like that. Exactly. I feel true. like whoever, like if you have an artist or whoever, they're always showing you who they're supposed to be. Exactly. You know that's what I'm saying? Fact. Exactly. Instead yep. of really digging down into right. the meats and potatoes of them and being like, hey, let's chop it up let me right. see your real personality right and you laugh with them engage with them so that that's what i'm really trying to do with mine you okay know what I'm saying? yeah i need to come on this show i just want to take a shot <laughs> yeah you can you go got, on <laughs> you got back there i'm going <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you shooting in hey, vegas you trying to land on shot <laughs> yeah <laughs> you shooting in vegas <laughs> yes in vegas yes. okay we coming uh-huh. yeah, yeah we, we gonna we be coming. there yeah, I'm I'm let me know you guys brought me on so you guys come on mine oh yeah i'm there yeah i'm there so what else is coming up for you? Um, like I said, just working on my own line right now. That I know that's going to take some time because I'm a perfectionist, you right. know, and I have OCD and everything has to be perfect. Yes. So uh, so I'm just working on that right now pretty much and just really pushing my podcast, trying to have a good time with that. And, okay. and really that's it. You know, I just want to see, you know, my daughter be successful in what she's doing. Absolutely. Anything my kids want to do and touch, you know what I'm saying? I Absolutely. just want to make sure that I back them and support them and make sure that they're they're good. That's awesome. So you say so you give advice, all right? <laughs> So we had somebody, we used to do a, a, um, a thing called Ask Catch 22. Uh-huh. All right. So we had uh, one of our callers, they, they, they wrote into us and they asked, the girl was messing with her uh, her husband's father. <gasps> no, nah, her husband's father, boyfriend's father. Oh, her boy. boyfriend. It was her baby daddy's father? No, no it was her boyfriend's father. It was just her boyfriend's father. Yeah, yep. she slept with her boyfriend's father. She wanted to know 
should she tell him or take that to the grave? So in case she's listening, do you want to give her some advice? What would, yeah. What would be that advice? Well, if you possibly don't want to get a hold of something. <laughs> <laughs> If daddy ain't saying nothing, you better take that to the grave. Right. I'm just right. saying, that's like you already done crossed the line. Right, the you absolute know what I'm line. The all absolute lines. line. Yeah. I wouldn't do that, but I'm just saying, if it was, if it was me and that was. You better take that one. Take it to the grave? Yeah, she should write an anonymous letter. She should. <laughs> tell it on her son. I'm just saying, they probably be threatening each other. That's he terrible. He probably be like, I'm going to tell my son. She's but he like, came. <laughs> he came because, you know, he's still married to the mama. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. she ain't got nothing to worry about because he not going to say nothing. She's she not, not going to say nothing. nothing. So just leave keep it alone. moving. Just leave it. They probably still sleeping around, aren't they? Probably not. Know. Or she. I don't know. Hey, if she listening, listen. hey, please write us back. That's a lot. That's tough. It is. She call in and disguise her voice. No, she actually she emailed. She emailed. She emailed. Okay, she emailed. Okay, she emailed. Okay, I thought she called. Man, I'm like, oh, because if she called, I'm, I, I don't know who think this my is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by, no kicking in with us, and tell me. everybody where they can find you on social media and where they can watch the podcast. Yes, you guys can definitely find me on social media. Um, on Instagram, Melissa Renee. That's M E L I S S I A R E N E. I'm on Instagram, and I'm also on my Snapchat all the time. Like, I like Snapchat better. You know yeah. why? Because you ain't got to worry about all the comments and all that stuff. Right. You, you post your little stuff, and it, it's it just, I going. like it so much more. Yeah, so, right. like, I have a lot of fun on my Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Melissa Renee, too, just another E on the end of Renee. And, uh, yeah, and then also my podcast is You Got Mail. Okay. So you can find that on, um, there's so many different handles as far as, like, uh, I know you got it on Apple, not Apple, yeah, I think uh, Apple Podcasts, mm -hmm. Google Hangouts. It's, it's like that it's Spotify. Everywhere. Yeah, it's I'm kind of like everywhere, but it's still you got mail. Okay. And yeah, and uh, like I said, just you know, tune in and listen to the show. You guys will like it. You guys will really, really like it. Oh, check yeah, it I'm out. And then you guys out. are coming yeah. on too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We're coming. We're hey, coming to Vegas. Remember this, so we, we get to Vegas, she don't treat us like Varnell oh, Hill did. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> listen, I'm good. I'm good people. You guys are good Varnell. with me, trust me. <laughs> Varnell, you remember me? Varnell. Like, but listen, come on, man. We from Detroit. But thank you so much again thank for you stopping by. And we're about to go into a quick mix with DJ Ladybug. And when we come back, we got another special guest in the building. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. Let's go. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. What's up, everybody? You guys just caught me on Catch 22 Radio. If you guys want to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram, Melissa Renee. And you also can follow my Snapchat as well. And make sure you tune in if you got mail. And that's on YouTube. And there's so many other platforms, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. You can catch me there. Thank you.